All right, hello everybody. It's me, Brittany, and today we are going to be playing a little game. It's not even can even download it. It's just online, but it's called Dual Trail. It's kind of a play off of the old school game Oregon Trail. I used to love that game when I was in elementary school. I love playing it. I love putting my name, my friends' names in it, and seeing what bad things happen to them. I was actually quite terrible at that game because I don't actually ever remember winning or making it. But um I was pretty bored today, so I was like, what can I do to cure my boredom? And I was like, what better way than to just go on a random road trip with your friends? And so that is what today's video is going to be all about. And hopefully we'll have a good time and nobody will die of some weird disease. So we are going to get started, so click to start. Road trip to the Atlantis Music Festival. See if you have what it takes to navigate through nasty weather, road grub, car problems, and crazy drifters. Get a high score and see your name among the greatest of the road warriors. You'll even have a chance at winning amazing prizes from Thule. Let's, so music festival seems really fun. That's actually on my bucket list of things that I would love to do eventually, so... Sounds pretty fun. So you may go on the road trip, learn about the trip, see a road trip, top 10, or turn sound off. Um, we're just going to go into it, so we're going to get one. All kinds of people go on road trips. You can choose to be a slacker, be a student, be a professional. So we are going to... We'll be a student. So who's driving? So I think I, it's only fair if I drive. I mean, this wasn't my idea, right? Who's got shotgun? I'm actually gonna put some of my other friends in here that have I play with on a regular basis. A lot of a couple of them have um, their own YouTube channels, which I will link in the description below. So you should definitely, definitely, definitely check them out. Um, so we have me, horror chick. I'm Dougable. We do Amy girl, and then we'll do Corsair. So it seems pretty good. Seems like a good mix of people. Alright, so right now it's September 13th. You need to arrive on the 19th or you'll be penalized. It all depends on your speed and how many stops you want or need to make. Now you have to pick out your car. We can have an SUV, a turbo wagon, a hybrid sedan, or ask for advice. Um, SUV would be more roomy, but I feel like it would just guzzle gas. Turbo wagon, nah. So we'll probably go with the sedan. Alright, get in the crew together. Before hitting the road, you'll have to stock up the car, food, entertainment, supplies. You can get it all at the Mini Mart. You have $1,000, but you probably shouldn't blow it all now. Okay. What's up? I'm Clem. Here, you're headed to the Atlantis Music Festival. We've got everything you need for your trip. Magazines and games to keep your car's morale up. Plenty of essential road food and beverages. That was my... That was my Clem voice. Hope you in. You enjoyed that. All right. Also, music to avoid awkward silences. Pellets for your pellet gun, and spare parts for your car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have a thousand dollars, so we should probably buy some stuff. Um, I feel like food is super important. Um, so he recommends two bags of food per person. So we'll do, we'll, we'll go with his advice. We'll do 10 bags, $150. We'll do some music, you know, get some old school 90s music, like some NSYNC, some Backstreet Boys. Um, yeah, so we'll just do six of those. Magazines and games. Um, I probably won't be participating. I'll be driving. It'd be kind of awkward if I started playing a game randomly while I was driving or reading a magazine. But um, we'll do four, four kits. Um, four pellets. Um, let's see. We'll just get, we'll just get five boxes. And then car parts. We'll just get one each of these. Alright, I feel like this is a good starting point. I think there are parts in the game where you can actually st 
stop and go to a mini mart again. So we'll do that. We want to make sure we can keep some money. Looks like you're set. Be on the lookout for competitions along the way. It's a great way to earn some cash. It's fun too. Almost as fun as hunting. Beast, I mean, <laughs> drive safe. <laughs> Alright, so we are in Chicago. 9.30 a.m. So morale's ecstatic. Pace, middle of the road. Food intake sufficient. So we can continue driving by gas, stop to rest, talk to people, change pace, change food intake, check supplies, check out the map. We are going to keep on trucking it. Look at us go in our little, little sedan. With some stuff on top. Are you serious? The stereo broke. It costs you $40 to fix it. Now you're blasting sweet road tunes again. Well, since Chicky is sitting beside me, and normally a shotgun person is in control of the stereo, we're just going to say that she, she broke it. So we'll just blame that on her. <laughs> it's all your fault. A fellow motorist is riding your bumper and using what appears to be sign language. Maybe he's throwing up a peace sign. Or he's maybe he's waving, or maybe he's doing the I love you sign. Hopefully it's something friendly. <laughs> a breath holding competition is held by going through a tunnel and I'm Dougable passes out. <sniffs> oh Doug. That's funny. Must have been a long tunnel. Oh sweet, Corsair just found forty dollars in a pocket score. Well, that's awesome because that counters the expense of our broken stereo that Felicia broke. Alright, so we have like a four tickets. <laughs> Horror chick gets a purple nurple from another cart member due to a music disagreement. <laughs> I wonder what kind of music they were fighting over. Oh no. So we have reached Des Moines, Iowa? I think that's how you say it. Alright, so here is our Iowa stop. So it's September 13th through 48 p.m. Morale's ecstatic. Pace, middle of the road, intakes, food intake sufficient. Let's go buy some gas and supplies just so we can make sure that we we're 13 gallons short of a full tank. Oh. Okay, we'll just fill it up. Um, I don't. We should check our. I mean, maybe we should check our supplies. I'm always like paranoid that, um, I'm gonna run out of stuff. <laughs> um, I mean, I think we might be good on stuff. We can maybe buy some more. Maybe we'll buy more food. Like maybe just like. Two more bags. And then maybe like one more CD. Alright. So we're going to keep on going. Looks like there's a parking lot dice game going on. You in for five dollars? Heck yeah. I'm... Sweet! Nicely paid. We just made $125. That's awesome. All those Yahtzee um, games finally pay enough. A hailstorm has hit and golf ball sized hail are bouncing off the car. Hope we have some insurance. Hail can really do some sad damage to your car. You see a sign for Scenic Vista, the Lois Hills National Scenic Byway. Do you want to stop? Sure, we can get out, stretch our legs, you know. That is beautiful. Just beautiful. The road is flooded. You may try to drive through it. Wait for it to clear. Uh, part of me like wants to just go for it and see what happens. But then I'm scared we'll lose supplies. But then I don't want to lose any more time. Um... We'll just try and go drive through it. Okay, awesome. Woo, it was a little dicey, but we made it through without any trouble. Sweet. I must be a fantastic driver. I mean... I'm Doug, and we'll get a finger stuck in a pop bottle. Doug, we just can't take you anywhere. 
I mean, sheesh. We've reached Green Island, Nebraska. So this looks like a nice place. Um, our morale is doing really well. Um, we'll just buy some gas. Um, get some food. We'll get some more CDs because we're doing. We're doing pretty good by some games. Because I just want to keep our morale up. I want everybody to be, you know, happy. Um, maybe we'll go to sleep right now. 13 hours? What the heck? Who gets that much sleep? I'm lucky if I get 4 hours of sleep a night. Alright. So let's go. There's a parking lot turtle race going on. You in for $5? Why not? Easy come, easy go. So much for that $5. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. You see a sign for the Sand Hill Scenic Byway. Do you want to stop? Sure. You know, it's super important when you're on a road trip to take time to enjoy nature, see what's going on around you. Otherwise, you get bored and it's not that much fun. That was so worth it. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Emmy Girl says, I just saw a billboard for a snowboarding, ugh, snowboarding competition in Boulder. We should check that out. I have actually never been snowboarding. I think that I would probably be really bad at it. I do like to ski, though. You see a hitchhiker on the side of the road. Do you want to pick him up? You know, normally, in like real life, I would say no. But... You know, let's just do it. I mean, YOLO. Hitchhiker says, thanks for picking me up. You guys seem real cool. Let's take turns braiding each other's hair. All right. Seems cool. You know, wants to do our hair. Sometimes, I mean, if you had your hair in a braid on a road trip, you really wouldn't have to worry about it looking gross or grody. Because sometimes, sick. <laughs> sometimes sitting in a car, you start to feel gross. Corsair has a small bladder and needs to stop. Okay. Thanks for not peeing in the car. You get stuck in traffic and lose 15 minutes. I mean, I feel like we're making pretty good time. It started to snow. Okay. It's really random. We had hail, we had rain, we have snow. Emmy Girl finds three CDs under the seat. Awesome! There is, the road is covered in snow. You may try to drive through it. Wait for the snow plow. You know, we had really good luck driving through the water. Maybe we'll have good luck here. Wow. The road is impassable. We have to call a tow, and it's going to cost you $100 and two hours. Well, that was a poor decision. We have reached Boulder, Colorado. Nice. All right, so morale, we're still doing excellent middle of the road sufficient so we'll do our normal get some gas um let's see how we are actually doing on food check supplies so we have seven bags of food left I feel like that's pretty good we have seven unheard CDs so that's we're not gonna buy anything um, I think we might actually be fine to not buy anything else, and we can just keep going. There's a snowboarding competition up on the right. Had the skills to enter? We'll tr we'll try. So if we win, we get $150. The current time to beat is 57 seconds. Use the arrow keys to control your speed. Good luck. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I mean, this is going pretty, pretty well. My screen keeps doing something weird, but... <laughs> I'm like making myself sick right now. Oh, 
Oh, he's crying. I'm sorry. Oh, sweet! Awesome. I really was not expecting to win, especially after running into that rock. So that's good. So we got 150 more dollars. We already have one hitchhiker. Um. Well, I mean, we'll try. More to marry her, right? Hitchhiker says, "Right on. Thanks for the ride. If you take the next right, there's an orchard on this near the side of the road. The owner of the orchard gives you some complimentary food. It's a little moldy, but you eat around it." Okay. <laughs> That's nice. You see a sign for an incredible mountain view. Do you want to stop? Yes. Think doesn't even have a name. Just incredible mountain view. All right. All right. Fantastic. Emmy girl ask a weird question during would you rather taking things too far again? Oh my. <laughs> Wonder what the question was. <laughs> Probably something super inappropriate. <laughs> But, you know, that's what road trips are all about. It's all about getting to know each other. A hailstorm has hit and golf ball size, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, we've already determined that the weather is kind of bipolar. A bird somehow flies into your car, rolled down all the windows, and help it find freedom. That is super random. I would freak out if a bird randomly got in my car. A deer dots in the road, stops, and waves. Hello, Mr. Deer. You pass some nasty roadkill. Emmy girl cries. Everyone feels awkward. <laughs> oh, Emmy, it's all right. It's the circle of life. We have reached Green River, Utah. Obviously, I wasn't expecting the river to be green, but I was kind of like, oh, Green River. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, still doing super great on morale. Food is good. Let's check our supplies before we go. Um, yeah, we're going to buy some food. We don't need to buy any CDs, so we're good on that. Um, uh, buy gas. Fill her up. Um, let's buy some food. What did we have? We had four. So let's get seven. Okay, and then we'll get, um, like three, three kits. Three game and magazine kits. Alright, let's go. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, I wasn't even buying any CDs because look how we have so many unheard CDs. Someone broke in our car and took them, so that's great. Well, you know. You see a sign for the Green River Paddle Jamboree up for some kayaking? We did pretty well in the snowboarding competition, so maybe we'll do good on here. Oh. What do you do here? Oh, okay. This is way harder, because there's all these people. Maybe if we just swim up here. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Do they have bathing suits? She does... Move! That, that does not look like they have a bathing suit on. Maybe if we just stay up here, we're, we'll be good. Oh man, we are flying. Oh, that's super sad. Corsair fell asleep. Sweet dreams, Corsair. Sweet dreams. You drive through a swarm of bugs. The windshield is filthy. Oh, our morale went down a little bit. Probably because of the CDs. I'm duckable. Rolls around in some wildflowers on the side of the road. Everyone else is weirded out. <laughs> That would be so funny. Horror chicks get a ha horror chick gets a hand rolled up in a window. You'll never hear the end of this. <laughs> Lose thirty minutes. Oh my goodness. There are a bunch of sheep in the road. Several bad puns, Laura. That was bad. You'll never get those thirty minutes back. You know what's really funny is I almost said that, but I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> you see a sign for Wacky Wee Willy's World of Whittle Wonders. Would you like to check it out? Let's go. Okay, that octopus is pretty cool. Did that guy have wooden teeth? Corsair is feeling cramped. We just got out of the car, dude. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. 
Do you see a hitchhiker on the side of the road? Do you want to pick him up? Sure. Hitchhiker said, hey, thanks for the lift. If you take Route 91, you can cut an hour off your time to Vegas. The shortcut saves you 80 miles, leaving time for the mystical cave of the gnomes. Well, that was good. So we gained some time back that we lost with sheep and other random things. You're stuck behind a huge semi. At least try and get him to honk his horn. Corsair is feeling a little carsick. You've reached Las Vegas, Nevada. All right. I actually, I really do want to go to Las Vegas. That's also on my bucket list of things that I would like to do. So check supplies. We have seven bags of food. We definitely need to um, get our entertainment up. Um, we might, you know, rest a little bit. We'll get three CDs. We'll get three of these. We'll get three of these. All right, so we only have $291 left, so we're actually starting to... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lose, lo lose money. Sorry, I lost my thought. Horror chick has a small bladder and needs to stop. All right. So our morale went back up, so that's really good. I'm Duggable's left arm gets sunburned. <laughs> That really is the worst when you're in a car for a long time and you're stuck in a position for a while and your arm does get sunburned because that has happened to me and it's super awkward because only one side of your body is burned and the other side is not. You've been seeing tons of signs from the mystical cave of gnomes and now it's just up ahead. Well, yeah. Aw, this is fun. That was a life-changing experience. Well, I'm glad we went then. You're stuck behind a gravel truck. Keep your distance. You see a hitchhiker on the side of the road. He looks actually kind of scary. But we'll go for it. About time someone stopped. I've been standing here for over 20 minutes. Turn down the radio. I have an air conditioner. And music makes me dizzy. You're violating my personal space. Move over. Slow down. I get car sick really easily. Oh, you need to get out. You need to get out of this car right now, sir. I'm Duggable sits on somebody's sunglasses. That is super sad. We've reached Big Bear, California. Okay. Let's check supplies. So we got we're good on the, we're good on all that stuff. We have a half tank of gas. So we will buy gas. And then I think that's all we're gonna do here. Because I think we're... What the fudge? Seriously, again? Do you not have locks? Like, someone... Like, lock the car. Come on. Corsair's bored. So, that's really unfortunate. This is where they hold the big bear mountain biking competition. Do you want to give it a shot? Sure. So, we actually really could use the money. So, it's actually be super super sweet if we could win what I pressed this on that button come on stupid I don't know where the course is I don't want to get disqualified again I'll just keep going this way I guess I don't know Okay, so we're on course, I guess. Stop it. Ah! Oh god. The pressure's on. I don't even know what the time to beat is. That was so close, like, I'm surprised. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. That would have been so nice to get that money, but whatever. I can't believe somebody sold the CDs again. Up ahead, it's the world's largest pickle. Want to make a stop? Yes, we have to go see the pickle. That is pretty large. It's a very large pickle. <laughs> Amazing. I'm Duggable. feeling cramped. Well, Doug, we're all cramped. Poor chick gets a thigh burn on the hot leather seats. I am sorry. You've hit a major traffic jam. It looks like it could take all day to clear. What would you like to do? 
Let's do this thing traffic dodging, take the long way around, and pay $50 to cross a toll bridge. But we don't really have $50 to spare, so we're just going to have to try. Oh, but I didn't realize that dodging. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to spend all my money on this. Okay. Are we almost done? No, we're not even halfway yet. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. We could have, we should have just spent that fifty dollars and taken the toll at this point. Cause I'm doing such a terrible job. Well, yep, definitely should have just taken the toll bridge at this point. Alright, well, oh, we made it, so that's awesome. We made it to Atlanta's Music Festival, which you are really early. You're going to have to t kill some time. Let's check out your score. You know, I'd rather be early than late. That way you can check out whatever else is in this town. But we made it, so that's awesome. So we have five chipper people, so that's pretty good. We, oh, we get a penalty for arriving early, but top ten is blank, but anyway, that was really fun. Um, like I said, I really do love road trips, and it would be so awesome to go on a road trip like that, to go to a music festival, but um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really random, but I was just killing some time, but um. Anyway, check out my friends' YouTubes in the description below. Um, hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you later. Bye.